Guys, good Wednesday afternoon. I'm Jerry Miller, and welcome to What's Barking Local here on the ILF Seville Network. Thank you kindly for joining us here with a, a Central Virginia Commonwealth country and worldwide audience live on all social channels. And What's Barking Local is presented by the best <laughs> of the best, Animal Connection, a 21-year pillar in this community on, in September of this year. I mean, think about that. 21 years Oof. of positively <laughs> serving the Central Virginia animal community. Patty Zeller, guys, the businesswoman behind it. Judah Wickhauer, if we could go to the two shot and welcome the retailista <laughs> herself, Patty Zeller. We're back. <laughs> I love the color first in the wardrobe. Thank you. A little looks, vibrant. It's spring. Woohoo. It looks fantastic. I don't <laughs> think you. I've ever seen you wear the top before. You it's, should wear it more often. Thank you. Maybe I shall. Yeah. <laughs> Good afternoon, my friend. How are you? I'm doing great. Great, great, great. Bef before we begin, how about uh, some insight into your last two weeks? We've missed you here. Oh, my gosh. Well, the first week I wasn't here was because I was walking seven football fields full of trade show at the Global Pet Expo down in Florida. And no, it was not a vacation. It was 7 a.m. till about 9 o'clock for three days, either with suppliers or negotiating meetings. I, I spoke at two sessions uh, and then a little guest spotlight at a third session that I didn't know I was going to do. So that was kind of fun. Talked a lot about what's sparking local and how we do things. Um, and talked about how small business people are competing online against big box retailers. Whoa. <laughs> well, yeah, you are the. Uh, that was fun. You are the uh, mm. the the north star of how um, a locally owned business, a boutique, if you Ooh. may, can can mm. compete against the big box retailers. Yeah, you've yeah. been doing it for twenty one years. We have, we have. It's not our first rodeo, and you know we're doing really well. I mean, our our website has really picked up. Sales are just really rolling in now online. We're doing a lot more delivery than we used to, and, and things are looking really good right now. So having a great year. Well, 21 years, the birthday, guys. Before we get to um, Emily mm -hmm. Swecker of the Charlottesville Alamo SPCA, yeah. how about some news and notes from Animal Connection? Oh, yeah. Well, you were going to want to stop by because a lot of the things we bought at the Global Pet Expo are rolling in already. And maybe next week I'll bring some of those things that you can see. But the big thing is, is Easter and all of our gift boxes are pre-wrapped. We have boxes, buckets, little mini boxes for dogs and cats. We have specialty cookie boxes uh, that are personalized with a big bunny and your name on them in glitter. I mean, we are going all out. We even have, uh, did, this morning I did like about three dozen very intricately decorated Easter eggs, dog cookies. And then we're getting ready for the Easter egg hunt. And so I've got, oh, about 10 pounds, let's see, of little miniature peanut butter bunnies and peanut butter eggs that fit just oh so beautifully into the Easter eggs that you're going to be hunting on Saturday, April 16th. Fantastic. They're adorable. They're really, and they're tasty. They're, they're really good. You guys are seeing them on screen now as Judah, our yeah. director, is rotating some <laughs> Phenomenal photography on screen. Patty, where'd you get this idea from? Oh, my. The, the Easter egg hunt? Yeah. We've had it for years. I mean, there have been years where we've had it in the store because the weather was bad. Uh, the last year we had it at Ix, and we had almost 100 dogs participate in the Easter egg hunt. And it just gets bigger and better each year. This year, we're going to talk more about this when um, Emily Swecker gets on the screen with us. But we're doing, I'll be dressed as Easter Bunny again. We're going to be doing pictures uh, with donation to the SBCA. We might see Emily Swecker dress as the Easter Bunny. <laughs> well, I've got an extra suit if she's game. <laughs> so we have that going. Um, there will be, um, <coughs> excuse me, it's not really... <clears throat> A hat parade. It's, you know, the Easter hat parade was a tradition on Fifth Avenue back in the day. And so we're encouraging you to put Easter bunny ears on your dog, maybe put spring uh, flowers around their collars, and just really dress up. We'll have a little parade. There's going to be gift certificates for the best dressed dogs, just saying. Um, and the Easter egg hunt was big last year because we do things a little differently. We put amazing gift certificates in the golden eggs. Ooh. Yes. Last year we did 25 
and $50 gift certificates. This year, it's going to be $50 and $100 gift certificates That's in, in this Golden Eggs. Yep. So competition is going to be fierce, really fun. Fierce competition, indeed. Yes. <laughs> um, I am excited for the Golden Egg opportunity. Excited. At Animal Connection. <laughs> Did you say Park. that? I am. Excited. Excited, <laughs> excited. yes, indeed. <laughs> Um, any other items from the notebook, my friend, before I, I'm going to ask on air if, if Emily Swecker is going to wear the Easter Bunny outfit. That is a gracious bunny. Put me on bunny. the spot. I'm putting you on the spot here. <laughs> but um, people, don't forget, please do do call in advance or get online and get your Easter cookies and everything. So we are going to run out. I mean, I only have so many hours in a day, but they are really cute. They're very special. Pre-ordering is highly recommended, so get online and, and make your choices right now. <laughs> what is your favorite of the seasons, Patty, for of your the, business? Of the seasons yeah. in general? Yeah, okay. I would say, I mean, I mean, the shopping um, mm. calendar events. Easter is certainly one. Oh, oh, just of events in general. I love Easter. It, it's such a, you know, it's spring. People are excited. They're ready to play. Um, I love Christmas, of course. I mean, that's always something to get excited about in Halloween. And, you know, last year we wanted to do something, the same thing like we did last year. We had the most fun at our tiki party Ooh. for dogs. Mm -hmm. And it was an SVCA adoption event. And we just had the luau thing going on and the swimming pools and the Hawaiian shirts. And I can't wait for that this year. That's going to be fun. We cannot wait for Easter at Animal yeah. Connection, and we're super excited mm -hmm. to welcome Emily Swecker of the Charlottesville Animal SPCA to Indeed. the show. I, I won't put you on the spot here about the Easster Bunny outfit. You already did, Jay. Okay, <laughs> Too I late. I've already Too done late. that. I can. I, I will ask you, what is your favorite Easter candy? A much fairer question for you. <laughs> I love chocolate. Me too. Yeah, All not kinds? just at Easter. Yeah, but I love, I've always loved Easter Bunny. Chocolate Easter Bunnies were my thing growing up, but... I'll take chocolate in any form. Really. Now, do you like the solid ones or the hollow ones? Solid, because it's more chocolate. It's more chocolate. Yeah. I like the solid ones, too. My mom tried to switch over to some the hollow, hollow bunny. ones. Yeah. You yeah. called her out? Yeah. yeah. Dark milk or yeah. white? I like milk. Okay. Yeah. All right. The dark gets a little bitter. The dark chocolate. But it's mm. healthier, right? Is it healthier? Mm, it is. That's what I always heard. Is that Maybe true? that's why I don't like it. I don't know. Um, you can have dark chocolate on paleo. Really? You can. I like uh, the milk chocolate all day, every day. Um, all right, let's get, uh, we'll get to uh, right. focus here. A lot going on here. Where do you ladies want to start? Should we start with the kitten shower, the bow wow walk, or get some cats and dogs adopted? Where would Kitties. you like to begin? Let's start with the kitten shower. Okay. Yes. Please. <laughs> so it is kitten season officially. Usually Yay. it starts around March and April and runs through about October, and that's a time where we see a lot of kittens coming to the shelter, not just ours, but shelters across the state and across the country. And it takes a lot to care for them. So we are having a kitten shower that we are inviting everyone to. We're going to be setting up a tent outside of the SPCA in front of the building on Saturday, and that will be from 11 until 2 o'clock. And we have a wish list on Amazon of all of the items that we could use to care for our kittens, things like canned wet food, kitten bottles, baby blankets. We have a full list. And so you can either go shopping if you prefer and drop off any donations at the tent on Saturday, or you can ship them directly to the SPCA. And we would just really appreciate anything that you're willing to donate. That's neat. You know, one thing I did see at the show, and this is this brings a whole a new category, but uh, a lot of the dry food and canned food uh, brands are really expanding into the kitten area, making these cute little mousses and, you know, milk and flavored milk with cranberry or pumpkin or things like that. But they're really um, expanding into that market and the senior market. I mean, they've always had just, you know, run-of-the-mill cat. But now they're really kind of segmenting into things like that. So yeah, there are going to be great it. choices out there for people. Yeah. A yeah. sweet baby love, Mickey and Maxwell. Yeah. Oh, these are cat Let's names, talk guys. about some of our cats. <laughs> Who, which kitty should we start with <laughs> Let's here? Let's go with sweet baby love because sweet baby love needs some explanation and some attention. Please. Yes. Oh, please. So <laughs> when we look at sweet baby love... Well, you can tell he's a little older. He's 10 years old. And so he came to our shelter. He was pretty sick, which you can probably see. He's got some issues with his hair, but he is getting better. He's improving a lot. And you can see that a lot of his hair is starting to grow back. But he is, even though he's older, he loves to eat, okay. obviously. Still loves mealtime. He really loves to sleep, of course. 
He also likes to spend time with other cats, and he's very social and friendly. This so, is me if I was a cat. Yeah, that's likes you. Likes to eat, sleep, and socialize <laughs> with other people. Your I hair doesn't look the love. same, but okay, other than right. that, I'm yeah. I'm having a decent hair today. He's this very morning, endearing. not so good, though. Yes, so we really want to get Sweet Baby Love a home, um, just one that he could love on his owner, love on some cats, maybe. Nice. He's adorable. Yeah. 10 years estimated, um, loves hanging with cats, um, being a boss, eating good food, and chilling in the sunshine. Judah, this yeah. is me. Is that you? Right now. You should, God, you should name me. one of these cats Jerry Miller. First I know. Time. I know. That's terrifying. Uh, who, terrifying. Who, who, who names the cat Sweet Baby Love? Is it Just, you, Britt? No, no. We can't take credit for it, but our <laughs> clinic and our intake usually do, and they're so creative. We what, love everything they come up with. What a phenomenal name. Another phenomenal is Mickey the Cat. Yes, so Mickey is very cute, if you're looking at his picture. He's about one year old. He loves to cuddle. He's very talkative, likes mm. to make his presence known, especially when there's food around. Common denominator with these <laughs> kittens. <laughs> he is missing a few toes, but it doesn't stop him at all. We just think it makes him even cuter. So Mickey would also love a home. Mickey, get Mickey adopted. Mickey yeah. the kitty. And Maxwell. <laughs> yeah, right. Maxwell, he is about two years old, and he is an extremely lovable cat. Loves to jump on the bed and sleep right next to his foster dad. He's in a foster mm. home right now, which we love, but we'd obviously want to get him adopted as well. He's cuddly, sweet, and he's calm. So Maxwell, Mickey, and Judah, yeah. sweet baby love yeah <laughs> three cats you that like this i know i think do you want sweet baby love? uh i well i have two german <laughs> shepherds okay this is you're returning the favor after the easter bunny uh, yeah. <laughs> emily's wearing an easter bunny jerry yeah. you're adopting sweet baby love is what emily's doing right there when we name one after you you're gonna have to well, adopt, now she's so. really returning oh, the favor boy. Right now, uh, now I, what i would would be intrigued about is Delilah Infinity, and is it Maximilian? Yes, Maximilian. Gosh, he is such a sweet boy. He's about a year old, so he's still got a lot of puppy energy. Okay. Um, but he is really a great dog, and we have a lot of dogs right now, and so <clears throat> some may be getting overlooked, and I feel like Maximilian is one of them. He, there is nothing wrong with him. He just has a lot of energy. He loves to play. He loves playing with other dogs. So if you have another dog in the house, he would be great, a great playmate. Um, he's kind of struggling being cooped up just because he does have a lot of that energy. Yeah. So even if you're not interested in adopting right now, Maximilian would be a great foster candidate if you you know, even if you're just home for a few hours a day, it's better than him being in a kennel for the majority. So if you can open your home to foster, it really is life-changing for the animals. So Maximilian would be great for foster or adoption. Maximilian looks like Liza, the I Love Sebo mascot's second oh, yeah. cousin over here. All oh, right, yeah. Judah, you can take Maximilian yeah. home. Jerry can take Sweet Baby <laughs> Emily Swecker, matchmaking here in the studio here. Maximilian needs a home. Del is it Delilah? It's Dahlia. Oh, Dahlia. Dahlia, okay, yeah. She has a unique name, too. So Dahlia is very special. She's about nine years old, but you would have absolutely no idea. She's still got a lot of energy. She's so, so sweet. If you watch her, she just loves being pet. She loves smiling, and she loves playing. She loves tug-of-war. Another cute thing she does, because I spend some time with her outside, is as soon as she leaves the shelter, she walks out onto the parking lot and she rolls over and rubs her back on the asphalt. Nice. She oh, just likes, I don't know if she's giving herself a massage or she just doesn't want to get dirty in the grass, but she's, she loves it. You pet her belly and she's perfectly content. So <laughs> Dahlia, she's older, but she, she just has so much love to give. So. We like our back scratch. Yeah. I did. I, I'm not she crazy can show about you the a asphalt, thing. but I, I like a back scratch. It's <laughs> pretty good. Got a fantastic bandana <laughs> yes. on in the photo, nine year old female. And last but not least, Infinity. Infinity. So she is she's just perfect. So Infinity came in as a stray, and she huh. actually had the number eight spray painted on both sides of her. Oh. Um, we assumed she was a hunting dog, and she was never reclaimed, so we named her Infinity. Um, we had her in our office shortly after she got to the shelter, and she was a little shy and timid, and she went into a foster home, and she is completely coming out of her shell. She's very sweet. We think she would do great with other dogs, cats, children. She's just an overall really, really great dog, and she's very soft, very nice. sweet. Infinity is adorable. Look yeah. at those ears right here. Get these animals, guys, a home. CASPCA.org, CASPCA.org. And if you're not adopting, foster foster they need some help fostering and i think we would um be remiss not to highlight an opportunity to engage with the spca even more the bow wow walk 
Yes. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Absolutely. so we're excited. It's just getting closer, just a few weeks away now. And now that the weather's warmed it's up. So it's so close. I know, we're so <laughs> excited. It's at Boar's Head Resort, April 23rd. We're really excited to be there this year. And it's just going to be a great event, an opportunity for you to hang out with your dog, meet other pets, other pet owners. And we're encouraging you to either create a team, you can join a team. We actually created our own team for Ooh. one of our dogs, Daffodil. She's right. an older chihuahua, and she came to our shelter with quite a bit of medical needs. So we have made her our mascot and just um, representative of you know the care we give to all of our oh, animals. Man. But if you're looking for a team to join, you can join hers. And we're just really excited to see you out there on the 23rd. Conrad and I are walking. You're going to be there. We, we, yeah. We're, we're going to hold leashes for one of the Marcus Mutts. We're <laughs> Beth Marcus's dogs. Very nice. <laughs> I'm not sure how many she's bringing, but she's got a lot. We love yeah. Beth Marcus. <laughs> yeah. um, dogs, the dogs, Maybe better. one of the most, well, certainly one of the most impactful fosters in the community. Oh, my goodness. Yes. She has, what, at one given time, any given time, eight to ten dogs, Pat? Yeah, but she's got right? puppies right now. She does. She's yeah. extremely helpful, especially yeah. when I come comes to puppies yeah we love you um beth marcus what is it about the bow wow walk you love patty z i just love seeing just the crowd of people coming together to support the svca and there there's always fun to do there there's great uh businesses that set up tents so you'll come back with backpacks just full of free stuff i mean treats things uh, things that you will love for yourself and things that your dogs will love i like the competitions at the end i mean yeah they, we're gonna we, have food trucks too yeah, so it's yeah. gonna be a whole day event activities for people for the dogs food trucks you what kind eat. of competitions are we having this time uh we're still working on them but okay. yeah we'll be announcing those soon well, we're excited about it, them in previous years, we've had like owner lookalike yeah. or best trick or yeah. the sing along or something like that. Yeah. Um, there's so we'll many have some things. some similar ones, and we'll have prizes. So everything you get your TikTok so ready, see. people. There's yeah. gonna be plenty of material for you. <laughs> How's yeah. your TikTok game, Patty? Is it pretty good? It's weak. It's okay. non-existent. <laughs> TikTok. I like watching it, but I haven't really done any yet. Uh, I'm like a Swepper, fail. You got a TikTok game? <laughs> you know, we're working on it for the for the SPCA. Okay. We have a lot of good content to use. Obviously, some really cute animals. So your guys you are wanna... great. Thank you. You guys yeah. do great. Yeah, on TikToks. Your TikTok. They take they take a bit of time. No doubt. They're really yeah. cute. Yeah. It's it's, it's labor intensive creating the TikToks, guys, but undoubtedly impactful. Um, Patty, mm -hmm. the uh, this has come in for you. Oh. What was it like to? Speak in front of so many of your peers from Christopher Washington Crozet. Well, we speak in front of 200,000 people every week, right? <laughs> Let's talk about it in person. So, Very in different. person. It, it's, it's really uh, pretty easy. I mean, uh, one of them was a panel discussion and we didn't, our moderator had COVID and couldn't come. So we just decided it was going to be three girls in a bar having a talk about dogs and their stories. And we just invited everybody to come up. We had over 200 people in, in that particular session. A lot of Q&A, a lot of story sharing. And, you know, I'm, you know, I don't know any strangers at all. So, you know, it's, it's pretty easy for me. And I really enjoy doing it. <clears throat> it's fun. You know no strangers. That is so no. true. <laughs> um, and you got this, Emily. This is from Jennifer, who's watching in Charlottesville. If we're looking to foster animals, what is the best way to do that? Yes. Good question. So the direct mm. way you can do it is to either fo to email foster at caspca.org, or we have a direct link to fill out an application on our website. So if you go to caspca.org, you can fill out an application for either a dog or a cat or a small animal, and then they will get you scheduled to come in. And it's a very simple process once you get a time. And today we are offering walk-ins. So if you're interested Yay. in coming today, you can come in. They'll set you up with an animal that they feel like fits your lifestyle and your home. Um, you can meet some of the dogs to see which ones would fit best. And then they send you home that day with the animal, with the food, the toys, the treats, the bedding, crates, everything you would need. So you don't have to go home and purchase anything, spend any money. Oh. Good answer, and she yeah. follows up. Good questions here. Yeah. At your adoption event at Animal Connection, will some of the dogs you highlighted um, be at your store? Yes. We don't Good know. Yeah. So, I don't know who's coming. Hopefully, yeah. yeah, it all depends on if they get adopted before Between then, which then. would be great. Yeah. If not, we could definitely highlight a few of those, and we also have a lot of puppies, so... Okay. 
Oh, recently, please send some yes, puppies. recently we've been bringing our puppies to the adoption events and people love them. And the great thing about the adoption event is if you fall in love with any of the dogs or puppies you see, you can take them home that day. So you don't have to go back yeah. to the shelter, you don't have to do any extra steps. So here's a little tip. So usually the week before the adoption event, Emily brings us flyers of available dogs and we put them all in the windows so you're standing there getting your lampo pizza or waiting for it and you can look at all about we have about 24 dog pictures or kitty pictures in the windows you can get a good idea then Mm -hmm. of what might be available um i also want to bring up you know if you're not ready to foster it's spring it's beautiful outside you can do fido field trips yes you can take dogs yeah. out on the trails with you you know little outings yeah even for an hour yeah. or two that would be the best part of that animal's day we have people take dogs yeah. to breweries to parks you know they just love getting out and then we get to know a little bit more about them it helps us market them and find them a home so fido field trips are really important you know tomorrow's too. national beer day what a great day to take a dog to a brewery yeah yeah they get saying. a lot of pets a lot of attention there they love it animal connection to three notch with uh <laughs> with a dog in tow yeah. guys making a difference and you're having a good time as well ladies you guys are fantastic <laughs> um patty z any final thoughts well just get your get your gear ready for easter i mean that's what we're focused on right now is getting ready for this easter parade i mean you're probably going to, to do some fitness you know, so you can run faster <laughs> with your dog and, and go for those golden eggs. You want to be able to reach pretty high because we, we hide them in very interesting places. So, you know, go to the gym this week so you'll be ready. <laughs> we have some athletic dogs. Maybe we'll have to bring them all and okay. get, oh, all yeah. get certificates ourselves. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. It's going to be fun. Um, yeah. You'll see Patty in an Easter Bunny suit. Absolutely. You may, uh, we'll close on that. You may see Jerry in an Easter bunny suit. And, and maybe adopting sweet baby, uh, what's it? Sweet, sweet baby, baby love. Yeah. Sweet baby sweet love. Sweet baby love. Uh, Judah Wickhauer makes us look good behind the camera, guys. Emily Swecker <laughs> and Patty Zeller. I'm Jerry Miller. This is What's Barking Local on the I Love Seville Network, presented by Animal Connection. And if you watch the show, you see she works hard, she plays hard, and she makes the community undoubtedly better. <laughs> Thank and her you. her name is Patty Zeller, guys. Thank 21 you, Jerry. 21 years in September. I genuinely mean it. Ah. Uh, we've worked alongside each other for six and live years. to tell about it. And live to tell about it. And live to tell about it. Thank you kindly for joining us. We are back tomorrow at ten fifteen a.m. with uh, more programming for you. You guys have a good afternoon. Take care. All right. Bye. Well done. Way to go.